Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I own the Water Filter E-Store and the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Today we're talking about how to install a Sterilite ultraviolet system. These come in a variety of sizes, anywhere from a small one gallon per minute unit, um, all the way up to the large 30 and 40 gallons per minute uh, unit. The installation is basically the same, um, so if you follow this procedure, you can install any of those. So let's get started. So actually, before we get started, we have to think a little bit about our water. So there's some pre prerequisites for an ultraviolet light. In other words, um, the water has to be clear. It has to not have any color. So it has to be sediment free. It has to be tannin free. Um, iron it can only be a very, very small amount, 0.3 parts per million. And hardness should be less than seven grains, uh, seven grains per gallon. So make sure you've got that set. If not, that has to be, the water has to be pre-treated before the ultraviolet light. So this is pretty much how it should be laid out. So I'll just point out a few things. In this particular situation, we're mounting it vertically. Always prefer to mount it vertically, but a Sterilite can be mounted horizontally if you don't have enough space. You need to leave enough space at the top end, at least 20 inches or at least the length of the bulb above to be able to change the bulb in the future. And uh, you need to also think about the ballast. It needs to be mounted either away from the unit or above the unit. So if you have any condensation, any water drips in the summertime, you don't want it dripping onto the ballast. The other thing, you're going to need an um, electrical outlet because uh, obviously it needs to be plugged in. And you need to think about uh, changing the pre-filter. You're always going to need a 5 micron sediment pre-filter. So again, you need to think about um, putting a bucket underneath and you want to make sure that there's not an electrical outlet behind that um, uh, pre-filter or in that area where water might splash into it. So kind of give that some thought. And plumbing wise, this gets installed after all of your other water treatment equipment. Like I say, if you have a water softener, an iron filter, something like that, this is after all that, but before the water splits into hot and cold. Okay, so once you've got that uh, sorted out and you've kind of laid it out in, in uh, where you're planning to do it, then you need to uh, cut the plumbing, obviously. You're going to put a ball valve, a shutoff in before the pre-filter, and that's going to make servicing this a lot easier in the future. And then you want to put another shutoff in after the ultraviolet light um, so that you can isolate this area while you're doing service because you want to make sure that um, you can shut the water off so all the water in the whole house doesn't drain down when you do the service on this again in, in the future. Okay, so once you've got that laid out, I usually put a piece of plywood on the wall or some kind of wood on the wall to attach it to so everything is, uh, everything is firm. The other thing you have to keep in mind is you have to have copper plumbing leaving the ultraviolet light and entering the ultraviolet light, at least a short section, because the ultraviolet light, you don't, if you're going to use PEX, for example, you want to keep the PEX away from the ultraviolet light. Okay, so um, once you've cut the plumbing, you've installed it in a route like this, then what you need to do is, um, most of them come with the, the, the glass sleeve already pre-installed, but basically all you do, or it's quartz sleeve actually, make sure the quartz sleeve is centered and make sure there are O-rings on either side and, and a bit of water for lubrication or clear plumber silicone grease is even better. So then you hand tighten these two gland nuts on either end. Don't over tighten them because you can actually break that uh, quartz sleeve by doing that. So once those are set, then you have to put the bulb inside. So you have to keep in mind that you cannot handle the bulb uh, with your bare hands, the, the, the glass portion of it. You can handle the ceramic ends. So you just slide that out. And I always have a cloth handy. Much easier to, uh, to work with than with gloves, at least in my case, I find it that way. So then you remove these, uh, this bit of uh, foam at either end. Now, one thing you may have noticed uh, when you get ready to install the, the UV, if the glass sleeve is all, or quartz sleeve is already pre-installed, you hear something rattling around in there. That's what's rattling around there is a spring. And the reason it's there is in case you should ever drop the bulb inside, that spring will absorb the impact so it doesn't do any damage. Okay, so then you slide the, the bulb in. Again, don't touch the glass. You can handle the, the ceramic ends. And then you'll notice the pins on the end are uh, set at different heights. And that's so that you get it to keyed the right uh, way. So again, you look at the uh, connection on the ballast. And you'll line up those pins. And we're going to slide that down so it's seated all the way. 
push that all the way inside. And then these little clips on these newer models, they just snap into place. There, it snapped into place. And then what you would do is you would plug this in and uh, it'll go through its startup uh, procedure. And then when it shows 365, that means it's ready to go. Once you've done that, then you can open up the, um, the water flow coming into here. Now, if you're installing it for the first time, I definitely recommend that you disinfect all the plumbing in your whole house. Um, on the original uh, installation, always recommend it. I have another video in this series uh, that you can see how to do that. You can check that out. But uh, once you've uh, done that, then the light is on. So before any water flows past here, you want to make sure the light is on, like I say, then you can open up the uh, ball valve slowly, open up the ball valve just slowly so that uh, the, it fills slowly. You don't want to have water hammer going through here. And then once you've done that, you can open up the valve after the ultraviolet light and have the water go on to your whole house. Um, once it's disinfected, you're good to go. If you like what you saw today, please click the subscribe button. Lots of other videos in this series. Uh, with lots of great information and uh, if you'd like some more information you can go to our website at either uh, thewaterfilteresestore.com or thewaterstoremidland.com. Again, I'm Gary the Water Guy from the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Thanks for watching.